what does a heart attack feel like? It's often not what you imagine. There seems to be this sort of persistent myth out there that if it's not sharp, it can't be your heart, and that's wrong. Yeah, Hollywood has given us a clear picture of what a heart attack looks like. Someone clutching their chest and then crashing to the ground. Yeah, but in real life, the signs can be far more subtle and confusing. Dr. Frank McGeorge joins us with an eye-opening look at the symptoms everybody needs to know. What does a heart attack feel like? Three survivors with three very different sets of symptoms. Would you recognize the signs in time to save your life? Excruciating pain in my upper back. Um, I had pain down my arms, into my hands. Uh, I felt lightheaded, a little nauseous. Um, and something was definitely not right. As I told uh, my wife I had heartburn. Mowing the lawn, I would get winded. And then the weirdest thing is my teeth would hurt. It's kind of like, okay, my teeth hurt. That might like, tell somebody my teeth hurt. Three survivors, three very different sets of symptoms. Keith Trost of Ann Arbor noticed his warning signs months before he went into cardiac arrest, leaving a Michigan football game. I never had the elephant on the chest feeling. I never had the heart palpitations. I never had any of the other things. Greg Merritt of Brighton felt his unexplained heartburn the day before his heart stopped. It was likely signaling me to say, Now's the time to go. Courtney Alexander of Celine had just finished a day of skiing when her symptoms struck out of the blue. Had no risk factors, no family history of, of anything, um, especially heart disease. Sometimes it's difficult for even physicians to figure out what's going on in those first few minutes. Dr. Brad Uren at the University of Michigan says it's common for patients to miss or dismiss the red flags. There seems to be this sort of persistent myth out there that if it's not sharp, it can't be your heart, and that's wrong. I've had an EKG in my hand that clearly showed that person was having a heart attack. And as I try to explain that to the patient, they said, no, no, I'm, I'm not having any chest pain. There's just this pressure here. And in fact, if you look at how most people experience heart pain, it's actually a, a heavy pressure in the chest um, with, a, with a squeezing sensation, maybe radiating to the shoulder, the jaw, the back, associated with some shortness of breath, nausea, being sweaty. Those are the classic symptoms. Women and people with diabetes are more likely to experience different or more subtle symptoms. And while some heart problems are sudden, often there were warning signs. If you look at people who've had heart attacks, often you can go back and ask them, and in the days, weeks, and months preceding that, they'll talk about, well, normally when I walk up the flight of stairs at work, I can do that with no problem, and now I'm getting this tightness or this discomfort. Waiting until symptoms are severe can result in a deadly delay. If you're actually having heart muscle damage, the, the longer that you wait and let that heart muscle die, uh, the worse off you will be. As an emergency physician, I'd rather see somebody at the beginning of the problem rather than at the end. Don't sit at home trying to self-diagnose. Don't wait. Keith, Greg, and Courtney are grateful they survived. They hope others learn from their stories. Make sure you see your doctor because they're the ones that are going to be able to tell it. The best thing to do is to go get this checked out. Uh, don't do what I did and say, well, I'm sure it's going to be fine. Someone in the U.S. suffers a heart attack every 43 seconds. Would you know what to do if it was you? Tomorrow at 5, I'll show you the four steps that could help save your life. And that's definitely something everybody needs to see yeah. tomorrow at 5. Yeah, one of the experts, as you know, we heard them, one of them say, as a general rule, if you're sitting at home Googling what are the symptoms of a heart attack, yeah. well, there's a fair chance you're having a heart attack and should be calling 911 yeah, instead. It's, it's better to be safe than sorry, for sure. We want to turn this into a learning experience for everybody. If you or a loved one are a heart attack survivor, go to our Facebook page or the Good Health page and share your story because we want to know what does a heart attack feel like so you can help others to recognize that, you know, what's happening faster so people will know. It may not be what we expect. And tomorrow at 1215, Dr. Brad Uren, who we just heard in that story from U of M, will be joining us for a special Facebook Live. He'll be answering questions and sharing some of the lessons learned from your stories. It's not always the elephant on the chest like what you that's, were saying. That's what I'd always yeah. heard it was, yeah.